Are you tired of seeing player offline every time you try to create a scoreboard, but you get too confused watching those videos with like 15 command blocks teaching you how to get rid of it? Well look no further because I have the perfect solution for you and it only takes one command block to make this. If you've seen most servers, most of them will have this really cool custom scoreboard that has a server name, your name, and then you know your currency or your kills or whatever. And I'm going to teach you how to do all that with just one command block. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button because only about 2% of the people who watch these videos are actually subscribed, so it helps out a lot. Anyways, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Let's get right into the video. Alright, now first things first, I've actually put the command that we're going to be using in the video in the description of this video. So it's a very simple copy and paste. And if you're watching this and you want to do the command on Xbox, I'll make sure to pause on it. Uh, you know, so you can see it and type it out. Now, we have a lot to do before we get to that. Not a lot, just a couple of things just to prepare for this. So first thing you're going to want to do is open your chat bar. You're going to want to do slash scoreboard, objectives, add. Uh, and then you're going to want to do money with a capital M. Then you're going to want to type dummy. Boom, that's simple. That's the first thing you need to type. It should say add a new objective money successfully. Now next thing you're going to want to do, same command, except this time you're going to want to go ahead and replace money with time with a capital T. And then you just press enter, just like that again. And as you can see, we've added the new objectives money and time successfully. Something that a lot of people don't have. Anyways, moving on. Now, the third thing we're going to need to do to set up for this, I'm going to have to go ahead and break this block. You're going to want to get the coordinates right here. So right here for me, it is 11643. I'm just going to go ahead and type that in chat. 11643. All right. And then from there, you're going to want to come all the way over here to this part. You want to fly about three blocks above where you did the other one. Go ahead and type that out again. And then you're going to want to do slash ticking area add and then you have those coordinates right there that were from over there then you're going to do tilde 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 and i'm going to name mine scoreboard now what this ticking area is going to do is it's going to keep these commands active at all times so it doesn't matter if someone is you know in the correct range of them it doesn't matter any of that it's going to keep this section active at all times so anything in here mobs a mob spawner you know redstone engineering anything in here is going to stay active and after you've done all that that is actually the only three things you need to do to set up for this only three things now next what we're going to want to do is we're going to obviously slash give ourselves a command block Command block and preferably we want a repeating one and what you're going to want to go ahead and do first place down a repeating command block and from there you're going to want to make sure it's repeating unconditional always active on zero ticks now once you have confirmed that that's everything going on you're going to want to either go in the description of this video and copy and paste what i've put in there uh, or you're going to want to pause when I show the commands if you're on Xbox to type it in. Now let me just go ahead and get the commands copy and pasted. And we're back and we have the command copy and pasted. So now all we need to go in here is paste it. So we're just going to paste it in there. I know it looks very complicated, but trust me, we're going to go over it later on in the video. And you'll realize it's not nearly as complicated as it looks. Now if you have copy and pasted this, this is all you need, and if you are typing it, just go ahead and pause the video right here, and we're going to move on to the next part of this. This is actually the final part for the entire video if you just want to, you know, import it to your server instead of knowing how it works. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to place another command block right here, and in this one, we're going to do a slash scoreboard players add at a time with a capital T then we're going to want to put one and that's the entire command you're going to need in this and now don't forget this is the most important part of this command or it's not going to work you're going to want to put delay and ticks to 1200 and what that's going to do every minute in real life this command is going to go off 
and what that'll do is every player that's on the server it'll add a minute to their time and yeah that is actually all you need to do now what you need to do to activate this is you're going to want to if you did what I did by accident uh, you're going to want to reset it I think why are you not working hold on oh okay um I found out why it wasn't working I didn't put always active that is my bad and now we have another issue what you're gonna want to do to fix this is just go ahead and game rule command block output and false that's simple now all of that text is going to stop now I'm assuming yeah I did the same thing with this one it needs to be always active all right so now it's as we played for one minute our balance and then uh, it shows our name, and you're going to want to replace that server name thing in the command block with whatever the name of your server is. Just replace this little bit right here with your server's name. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go over how this works, but that is literally everything. That's how you put this command block in your server, uh, or the scoreboard, and that is it. Like, literally, you can click out the video now if all you want to do is import it, but... If you want to see how this works and get to understand the system so you can change it around and do what you want with it, I'm going to get into that next. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how the title raw command works. You know, I'm going to break it down for you and you can go in there and mess with it and change it up, add more objectives, do whatever you want with it. So without further ado, let's get right into that part. All right, so as you know, this is a always active repeating command block, unconditional. And first thing about this is the title raw at a action bar. Now what this is gonna show is, you know, when you do the title command, for example, there's an action bar option, and that'll just show any text over your, you know, action bar, right over your um, hot bar. So that's what you can do. You can replace it with stuff like title, but it really doesn't look good at all. Actually, I will show, eh, I, I don't really want, uh, you know to mess uh, that part up so just type in action bar just leave that the same you don't want to mess with that now we got raw text text server name now when you're copy and pasting this you're gonna want to replace server name with the name of your server that's really the only thing you want to do if you're not looking at the inner workings of this and from there we got comma text uh, backslash n now backslash n signals a new line so it doesn't just have one full line it shows it in uh, separate so slash text uh, backslash n name dash now what that does is text will show the uh, the operation that you're carrying out so for example the name that's going to show what that is and that will not change based on the scoreboard. That part is always going to stay the same. It'll just show text. Really, if you wanted to create a fake version of this, you could just leave out the entire selector part, and you would literally just have the exact same thing, except it wouldn't update when the uh, scoreboard updates. So next we have selector, uh, and commas, colon, uh, asterisk now what the asterisk does is it chooses the player who it is showing it to so for example me it'll put my name there any other players it puts their in-game name there it's kind of just a cool little feature you don't have to have that you can really get rid of that whole thing and it'll still work uh, like the scoreboard you can get rid of the entire name section it'll still work if you don't like how big it is and then next we also have another text thing backslash n of course balance dash and then i have a money symbol right there just as a little add-on and of course we're going to want to have the selector which is going to be score which stands for scoreboard in this case and it's going to say their name which you know selects the player that it's showing it to then we got objective uh colon money now what that right there will do is it'll select the money objective from the scoreboard and every time the money objective on the scoreboard updates for said player, the balance for said player will update. So as long as this is in a ticking area, it will always update. So you don't have to worry about that bug where it's like, oh, if they're in the shop and they buy something but they're too far away from the command block, 
it won't update until they get back to spawn or something. You don't got to worry about that again with this new method. Now, next we have text, uh, uh, colon, and then, you know, backslash n, just like the other one, new line, uh, minutes played, score, of course, scoreboard. The name actually selects the player that it's showing it to. And then for that player's place on the objective time, it'll update for them. So for example, in the time that we've been in here, our minutes played have updated to five because we've been in that command block for five minutes. And that's basically the entire inner workings of that command block. I hope you know I gave you guys a good enough understanding where if you want to go in and change something, you can. Uh, I highly do recommend you look more into this yourself because I have not gone over everything you can do with the pedal rock command and it is truly a great command that you can do a lot with and make your server very professional but that is all for this video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did if you found it helpful please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button since only about two percent of the people who watch these videos are actually subscribed i know pretty crazy but um yeah i hope you guys have a great day peace out and stay golden